Hi, I'm Nikki and welcome to my 30 minute kettlebell cardio hip workout. So we're going to work for 30 minutes, we're going to work the full body, we're going to have a combination of kettlebell strength moves and we're going to do low impact uh, cardio exercises. I'll explain as we go along, so please don't worry. We've got 15 exercises in total, working 45 seconds on, 15 second rest and we've got two rounds. At the end of each round, you can press pause, you can take a longer break, and if this is your workout, so work at your level. Okay, I've got two kettlebells, just because I like to vary the um, weight dependent on the exercise I'm doing. You can also incorporate dumbbell if you have that at home. Please make sure you've warmed up before you start. There is a warm up on my channel, or press pause, warm up, and come back. Okay, let's get straight to it. I'm gonna hit my timer. So, 30 minutes. We're going to do two strength moves to one cardio. So, the first one, we're going to do the kettlebell squat. We're going to take that kettlebell into a goblet position. We're going to have our toes close and forward or ever so slightly out. And we're going to come down into that squat. So, as you come down, keep that chest up, that back is straight. Push into the floor with those heels as you come up. To standing, well done. Lovely. Super. Fifteen seconds, nice and controlled. So remember, try and keep that back nice and straight. Lovely. Brilliant. Okay, we've got the swing. So I've got my feet a little bit wider now. They're about shoulder width or just slightly wider. We're going to get that momentum. And then as you come up, you snap those hips forwards. So, up you go. So snap those hips. Use that lower body to power that kettlebell. And then let the bell just fall back between your legs. Again, keeping that chest up. Lovely. Excellent. Ten seconds. on one side. If you want some space, we're going to do step out jacks. So you literally step it out nice and light on those toes. We're going to use those arms as well. Ready? So, step it out. Clear. Keep it going. Obviously you go at a pace that works for you. This is going to get that heart rate up. Ten. overhead. So wide stance, toes ever so slightly turned, pick up that bell. Now we're going to keep our chest up, we're going to go into a sumo squat to overhead. So we come down, flip and press. So down, brilliant. If you don't feel comfortable taking it up, just stay with sumo squats, then take it overhead. Super. Lovely. Okay, lunges. So 
going to do lunge pass through. So I'm going to take the kettlebell in my right hand and I'm going to step back with my left and I take it through and I stand. Back and stand. Ready? So, yeah, keep that chest up. If you feel that you can't get your balance, just keep the kettlebell at the side and pass in front. Okay, don't worry about going through. Lovely. Try and keep those toes facing forwards. Great exercise, this one. It's working your balance to your core. Okay, let's place that down. We're going back to our cardio exercise. We have got power knees. So we're going to switch halfway, but we're going to start with our right leg. We're going to power it across the body. Ready? So, you're working your obliques here as well. Powering it. Lovely. Again, I'll come up and switch. Give me two more and switch. Brilliant. Keep again. Ooh, well done. Okay, bend to the rope. So, we're going to start with our right arm, so we're going to do right arm on round one, left on round two. So take that right leg back, lean forwards onto that left leg, and we're going to row. Super. Nice and slow, so up for two, down for two. And I'm keeping my elbow in, just that it's not flaring out to the side. Brilliant. If you can't do the full 45 seconds, that's fine. Stop when you need to. It's quite tough, this one. 10 seconds. Oh, now that's well. Okay, we have got figure of eights. Full body exercise, compound move. So wider stance. You're going to take the kettlebell from the front hand to the back, coming down, okay? So, do the hand behind. So you almost squat down, but we're keeping that chest up. And we're being mindful of our knees with this one. It doesn't need to be quick. Excellent. Lovely, keep going. Got 10 seconds. Place that question well down. So, our cardio move. We're going to stay with the right leg. I'll call out when to switch. You squat, you press. Stay with that one leg. So, you're squatting down. Ready? So squat, lift. So really working that supporting leg, those quads. Okay, give me two more. And we switch, so other leg. Brilliant. Bye. Ooh, well done, give those legs a shake.
We have got halos. Another good one for the core and our upper body. So, we're going to flip the bell. You want the bell facing the ceiling. All in one direction. So, doesn't matter which way you start, you're going to switch to all the way around the head. Try and keep that lower body still. My feet are hip width apart. They're keeping me grounded. So just check your feet positioning. Sometimes people have their feet too close together. Okay, one more. Pause it. Back the other way. Okay, nice and controlled with this one. Lovely. Well done. Okay, we have got bicep curl to overhead tricep extension. So we want the bow facing our tummy, and we're going to go bicep curl, press, and back. Ready? So, curl, press, take it back. If taking it back is too much of a challenge, just do bicep curl, press, take out the overhead extension. Pull that tummy in, protect that back. You want to keep that back nice and straight. Place that out of the way. We have got eight mountain climbers for plank jacks. Now you can do this off a chair or a step if you want to take it lower impact even more. If not, have those wrists under those shoulders. We're going to do eight mountain climbers. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four plank jacks. One, two, three, four. Then eight mountain climbers. Seven, eight. Four plank jacks. Okay, eight mountain climbers. Four plank jacks. Well done. That does mountain climbers. Super, keep it going. One, two, three, four. Ooh, well done. Okay, down to the floor. We have got chest press. So I'm actually going to go to like the heavy one. So we will get down up here and under our chest. You're going to push your back into the floor. You're going to lower to the chest and press up. So it comes down and up. So keep those elbows close to the body. Lovely. Nice and controlled. Last one. Okay. Next one, dead bug. We want our feet or our legs in that tabletop position. And as we extend one foot, we take the kettlebell back. My arms are almost straight, but my elbows are soft. So, take it back. Now bring it back to the middle and extend the opposite leg back to centre. Again, check that that back is pushed fully into the floor. Nice and controlled. Lovely. Wonderful. Stay with me, you've got five more seconds. Woo. Okay. You need to have got a sit-up press. 
Now, if you don't feel comfortable doing sit up presses, you can do crunches here instead. Okay? So I'm going to go slightly lighter for this one. I've got my legs and my ankles anchored further away. And I'm going to power it up and slow it down back. Superb. Well done. Nice and controlled. Welcome the upper body to this one. Okay, this is the last exercise of round one. So if you want a longer break, then go straight back into round two. Press pause. Grab a drink and come back. Down. Up we come. So again, I'm going straight into round two. Do press pause if you need that longer rest. We're going to go back to those squats. So we've got the goblet squat. So we're going to take the kettlebell by the horns. Off we go. So get nice and controlled. Check those knees are following those toes. Brilliant. Oh, it's super warm here today. It's only 9 a.m. and it's sweating already. 15 seconds. Brilliant. Five. Woo. Well done. Swings. So remember this one. We're thrusting those hips forwards as we come up. We're squeezing those glutes to stop that back arching. As soon as you lock those glutes, it will prevent you going back too far. So get that momentum first. Check that back. Up you come. So again, squeeze as you snap those hips forwards. Lovely. Brilliant. Almost there. Five seconds. So, if you say put that to one side, we're going to go to those step out jacks. Scale this one nice and light on your toes. Ready? Use the other body as well. We're going to get that heart rate up. Well done. Fifteen seconds. Okay, 
got those lunges. So remember for this one, if you don't feel confident in passing it through, you pass it round the front. So you pass round and then you back, okay? It will just help keep that balance. So catch it up. You go back with the left, pass it through. If not, you go back and you pass it round. Lovely. Ooh. I still lose my footing on this one. And try and keep those toes forward. Imagine you're on a train track. So you've got your feet hip with the path. That back leg doesn't need to go directly behind the front foot. Ooh. Right, let's place that to the side. We've got those power knees. Again, I will pull out halfway when to switch. Whew, my heart is definitely up. Right, ready? Off we go. Hopefully you've got music on so you can't just hear my heavy breathing. So really drive that knee. Okay, give me two more. And switch. Drive, power it. Feel it in those obliques. Lovely. Almost there. You've got five seconds. Okay, we're going back to fence over row. We did our right arm on round one, so we're going to do our left arm round two. So we're going to take our left leg back, we're going to lean on our right leg, and we're going to go back. Our neck is neutral, our backs are straight, and our elbows going straight back to the wall behind. Going. Okay, remember to control this on the way down, don't let it just fall. Feel the exercise. Fine. Okay, bigger reverse. So I'm going to go slightly heavier this one for my lower body. So wider stance. Toes slightly turned out, we take the kettlebell from the hand in front to the hand behind. So keep our chest up. We want that air to get in. And down. So this one's working all the lower body. It's working your core and it's working the upper body. It's a great exercise. Fifteen seconds. Five. Okay, that's it out of the way. We're going to our squat press lift. So we're going to start with the right leg, so you want to feel it all in the supporting leg. And we're going to push forward, so we're going to work our upper body as well. So, squat, lift. So imagine you're pushing the door open. Brilliant. Give me two more. And switch. So, other leg. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Five. Ooh, well done. Give that 
go to the show. That's quite interesting to see them on that one. It doesn't look that difficult. But you actually feel it quite a lot. So we're going to go to hay mode. So we're going to flip the bell to face, face the ceiling. We're going to have our feet hip width apart. Off we go. So all the way around. Again, keep, try and aim to keep the lower body still with this one. So you're working all that core and the upper body. Right the way around that head. Okay, give me one more in this direction. Now pause it, back the other way. Superb. Lovely five. Oh, well done. And then we've got our bicep curl press overhead extension. So remember this one, if you don't feel comfortable taking it back, you're just going to do curl and press. Okay? So I like the girl facing my tummy. I'm going to go curl, press, take it back. Again, keep that back nice and straight. Lovely. As you take it back, try and keep those elbows in. They will naturally flare a little, but try and keep them as close to your head as possible so they're not out here. Ten seconds. Ooh, well done. Okay, let's place that down. We've got those eight counting climbers for step out plank jacks. So again, remember this one you can do it off a step or a chair, it'll make it that little bit more low impact. And back lovely. So wrists under those shoulders. Eight. Three, two, one. Stepping out. Four. Three, two, one. Back to mountain climbers. Try and keep that bottom low in those plank jacks. Working that core as well. Superb. Oh, well done. Okay, we've got the dead back with that combination of the pull over also. So we are working our back with this one, our upper body. So we want our legs in that tabletop position, back into the floor. And we step one leg as we take the arms back. We join it in the middle and we switch legs. So control this one. Sometimes I see this exercise perform too fast. Feel it from your core all the way to the upper body. Last one. 
I thought that step down. So remember this one. If you don't want to do the sit up press, hands behind your head, get out between your chin and your chest, and we do crunches. Just don't pull on that leg. If not, you join me, we're going to do the sit up press. So power it up and down. Power it up and down. Lovely. You are on the home stretch. Keep going, keep going. To that bell, to the bell. 15 seconds. Last 10. Oh, keep going. Well done, superb. Full body workout, you've done strength and cardio. Hope you've enjoyed it. Do make sure that you stretch out now. There is a cool down video on my channel. If not, do one of your own and take care. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.